What's going on guys? Well, doing a little fishing pole review today. I have two bait caster combos I'm going to be going over. Both of them can be found for under 100 bucks. One is the Black Max Combo and the other one is the Lose Xfinity Bait Caster. These are two extremely popular combos out there right now. So I'm just going to go over and put them, put them both head to head on which things I like about them, which things I don't like about them, and which one I think is the better bang for your buck pretty much. Mm-hmm. Well guys, we're going to start with the Black Max Combo. This is a 6 foot 6 medium rod on a 6.4 to 1 gear ratio reel, 5 bearings. The reel is very smooth for a cheaper grade reel, casts extremely well, and if you're new to getting a bait caster, I would highly recommend this. It's easy to fine tune so you don't backlash a lot. You can get this and in one day learn it and not be backlashing, which is a huge deal when you're just getting into bait, using a bait caster. Now, other things I really like about it, in my opinion, it's more of a medium light than a medium, but to me that's a good thing because I mainly use this for throwing like soft plastics, stuff that I'm jigging slowly off the bottom or pulling back to me, you know, slow retrieve. So it has that good sensitivity so you can feel them soft bites, be able to get, good, be able to get a good hook set. Now some things I don't like about it, the reel sometimes you got to tighten up the drag after all day fishing, it comes a little loose after you catch a bunch of fish, and the handles aren't really, aren't really the greatest for reeling in. They get slippy when your ha hands get wet, and they're just not the most comfortable. That being said, the handles do stay clean and the rest of the rod and reel setup do. This is six months old and it looks like it's practically brand new just because how they have it set up with the coloring and the grips, they clean up really well. That's one thing I do really like about it. I've had it now six months, like I said. Beat it up pretty good, smacked it off some tree limbs and it's still holding up great. So would definitely recommend the Black Max combo for 69 bucks that I bought it for. It's a great combo, it's durable, casts well, retrieves fish well, and just the gear ratio on it's really nice too for the rod setup. It was a very well made setup, so I'd really recommend it. Well guys, we are now on to the Luz Xfinity Bait Caster. This is a six foot 10 medium heavy rod on a fast action reel. What is it, 7.5 to one gear ratio. I have 20 pound spider braid on this right now, and I can tell you this pole casts amazing. A lot of people are saying they have, have, have had backlash issues with it, but I've had none. This thing has been Nothing but great for me. Uh, I'm just going to go over first things that I don't really like about it. And that'd be one is it gets extremely dirty. I don't know if you can see it, but the handles are like black already, and the white reel is extremely dirty. It shows dirt, and it's all stained up. But if you don't really care about it getting dirty, I wouldn't let that stop you. But the only other thing I don't really like is the placement of hooking your bait to. I'm used to it being up here. So a lot of times I grab back here and I've gotten hooks in my fingers. So I don't really like that, but it's also not a big deal. Now, some things that I really like about it. The loose handles, they're phenomenal. That foam, even if your hands are all slimy, you can hold on to that all day, it's comfortable, and it's just a good setup. Now, also I really like how they have the fast action reel and the medium heavy rod. It's a perfect setup for crankbaits and fast retrieving baits. I'm a big smallmouth fisherman and I fish Lake Erie a lot. When I'm reeling a crankbait at a good pace and a fish grabs it, I can get a really good hook set with this heavy action pole or medium heavy, can't talk, medium heavy action pole. So I do really like that. The handles, once again, even down here, are extremely great. You can grip them really easy even if your hands are wet. The color at first, I didn't really like it that much because it got dirty and just because I don't really like brightness. But it's grown on me. Later at nighttime, you can see your tip because it's orange. That's kind of cool. But once again, just a solid combo. Just like the Black Max, each one is a little different. This is more heavy, fast baits. That's more slow, slower baits. But both are definitely very good combos and also a good bang for your buck. This was 89 bucks at Walmart. So I want to say Walmart's the only place you can buy it. At least that's where I've only seen them, but definitely a good setup. Well guys, it's extremely hard to pick a winner out of these two poles because they're very similar, but very different at the same time. 
If you're going for something that you're throwing baits a long distance with a fast retrieve, I would recommend the Luz. Or if you're throwing like softer baits that you want a slower retrieve, I would recommend the Black Max. Now if you're going strictly off the money, they're both a good bang for your buck, but I've seen the Black Max combo as cheap as 50 bucks, which is an absolute steal for the setup. The cheapest I've seen the Luz is 89 bucks at Walmart. They're holding on to that price right now. But still for the money, they're both extremely good setups. Now I already actually did a review on the Luz on my channel, if you want to check that out. There's me catching some fish on it, and you can see a little more into depth about it. But also you want to see the Black Max in action on my channel. I have some videos of me catching some pike, some bass, some smallmouth, a little bit of everything on that. But if you guys want to go check that out, it is truly appreciated. But hopefully this helped you. Have any other questions, put it in the comments below. And as always, I appreciate a like and subscribe. And hopefully we see you on the next one, guys. Thanks.